So you might be wondering, why are these two strapping beautiful young men flanking this gorgeous amplifier? We'll tell you, stay tuned. <laughs> well, I'm gonna tell you right now. You always thought it could just be custom guitars. Nope. Fender custom shops, Gibson custom shops, Fender mod shops, crazy things of that world. You can also have custom amplifiers. No, who knew? And we think Two Rock probably does some of the coolest customizations you've ever seen. It's probably true. And the coolest part about this is sometimes it doesn't cost you one dollar more than standard. So if you want to get wild, let your freak flag fly, you can do it. And this friend of mine who ordered this thing right here, he definitely did that. And we love talking about this stuff. So we're going to dig into a few more amp makers that do this. Yep. Uh, talk about Two Rock a little bit and the fact that you can find these cool things that are unique out there. And um, just thanks for sticking around and joining us. And we hope you have fun. Click like, subscribe. Don't forget the bell. It does a thing. And we're going to get into it. This guitar amp is my favorite, the Bloomfield Drive. This is the 4020. They come in the 150 watt and also the 50 watt settings. This one's excellent. It's like it's a nice, moderately, extremely heavy combo amp. This Bet better, man. Practice, practice, man. It's so loud. It's so loud. It's yeah. got a master. But normally right. this amp comes in like this sort of beautiful slate gray, which is what I have with the blue piping and the um, the you know the, the anodized silver grill. This one, this fella went kind of hog wild, and I was like, "This sounds crazy." Hog wild. Hog wild. I was nice like, "Let's like do it though." We got the Western Brown Tolex. We got the black grill. We got the wheat. I mean, the black chassis. I'm sorry. The wheat grill. The red chicken knobs. Who would have thunk? Like, what would you have thought when you hear that on paper? On paper, I was like, ah, I just, I don't know. We but talked about it. We talked about it, and I had my doubts. I did a little bit, but then this friend of mine assured me this was going to be epic, and he'd done it before. But then we opened that box and pulled it out, and if, it was pretty glorious. If you were to have like a two-rock combo, I feel like this would make sense for you. I could do this, yeah. This, this looks like you. That's true. But better. More better. -er. Like an ode to the old evil twin. <laughs> the red knob. Oh, God, that's so funny. It is an ode to that a little bit. Jeez, I didn't even think about that. Tip of the hat. Did the evil twin have red? It had, it had the red normal round knobs, though. It didn't have chicken yeah, knobs. Yeah, it had chicken Because I had mine was stolen yeah. from me, those jerks. Someone stole it from my house. What a mean thing to do. What a mean thing. Anyway, but this is neat because Two Rock, is, it, everyone knows it's one of my favorite amps. Yeah. I, I play a Bloomfield. I have lots of vintage Fender amps. I have orange amps. I have Mesa Boogie amps. I have, you know, all sorts of weird silly amps and Gibson amps that I love the old ones but I primarily play my two rock Bloomfield the fact that you can get zany if you want I think it's wonderful it's cool you can upgrade to suede which does cost more that's the one sort of upcharge but they also we've done like brown leather tips brown leather handles yep. like that's not it's, they build these are expensive amps already they are which I appreciate they don't do that upcharge on these little things like that I mean it is wild though that you can with two rock you can pretty much pick anything you want i mean the sky is kind of the limit on the color combinations you know or the any of the tolex stuff or the grill cloths it's it pretty is. cool and it's cool that it's not you know it's not an upcharge at all unless like you said the suede which makes perfect sense and what's neat working with them too as a shop because they're just like not many dudes it's just like us and yeah. we talk to them and you know the, the heads of the company like eli and the gang they play all the amps themselves right. Nothing, it's not going through these big warehouses. Like they play everything before it goes out. And it's just, it's cool. And they, like you were saying, like if you were a big UT fan, let's say, Tennessee, and you're a big Vol fan, you could get an orange Tolex amp, white, you know, and, and chrome. And they, oh, don't, please don't do it. And you could probably even get, when you're done, you could probably have like a white stencil spray paint. Do like the thing you on could. the side. It, oh, that sounds horrible. If that's really you do what right your here. heart desired. Or you do orange right here with the white. Ooh, the white grill. And maybe a silver chassis. We did have know. that cool, uh, the Carolina blue. With the white. Oh. Yeah, and then we had the other Carolina blue one that went to another good friend of mine out in the Midwest um, that had the this sort of tweed look, oh, yeah. too. It was, was, it was, cool too. was Every time we see two, right? We pretty much love all of them. The, I mean, the looks. Because you can get zany. You can make an ugly one, too. But I, usually they're good enough there, they will fight you if they think it's going to be hideous. Yeah. They don't want a hideous one going out. So, and now what other amp companies that you love no. might do this? Good old Magnetone. And I didn't even really realize this until recently. You can, you can ask for different colors, different grill cloths, different piping. That's super you cool. can pick whether you this want the, the gold piping, or the, the little chevrons on the Magnetones. You can pick whether you want that to be gold or, or you know, the chrome. 
So lots of things you can do with those as well. Could you do black chevrons, um, do you think? I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. It would be super cool. These things are like a blackout magnet. I feel like I saw one like that at CME the other day. Mm. Mm. No, so that is a neat option that, that's available to you. And if, you know, we are obviously Magnetone and Two Rock dealers, if we can help, we'd love to. But if you have a dealer that you work with, work with them. These are great yeah, amp companies. Exactly. I don't care where you get it from. We want you to just have great fun playing guitar and doing these strange things. Car amplifiers. Car. Out of Pittsburgh, North Carolina. We don't sell those at all. Nope. I love their amps. They're my favorite low-powered sort of... You, Baxter had a phase where he was like lusting. I mean, he still does. I'm but still he had a I, hardcore, I, I, like, like, I know, yeah. hot and heavy, sweaty over car amps. It, and yeah. there was one in his grasp, and it just sort of never worked. Slipped out. away. I know. It's. Um, I'm still sort of upset by that. It's. I just think they're so way. pretty. I love the yeah. attenuators on them. I love the different sort of wraps they do, and like the different sort of chassis builds they have. I, but the sound, it's all about the sound. I think it's great. But they also do all sorts of cool custom things. Yep. There's slight up charges if you're doing the faux alligator thing sure. a little bit. That makes sense. Like a different... Eh, kind of. Two yeah. Rock doesn't. Two Rock doesn't. No, so you can do that. That's Which is kind of... Two Rocks are a different price level, though. That's right. So I think it's sort of built in, maybe. Um, no, but I love them. But also, let's jump into the majors. Fender. You can't customize it, but they do lots of FSR limiteds out That's right. there. And if you're looking for something weird and zany... Like they have the, the that weird denim one that I'm not a huge fan on. They have the Western Tolex ones. That's the same Tolex wrap as this. That is fantastic looking. They do that. They um they often put cream back speakers in it. They have the I've seen the bright orange ones, the red ones. It's just kind of if you want something different, they have those. You just have to find them. They're limited supplies. They yeah. sell it quickly. Just get one. I think um, you, can, you can even look through Reverb. You can find some of the, all the all the old you know, special runs they did. Like the old little Humboldt Blues Juniors with the Cannabis Rex speaker, all that kind of stuff. Do you like the Cannabis Rex speaker? I think so. I think I like that one too. Yeah. I don't always like the cream backs on the um, Princetons. I love cream back in like a Vox. I do love it. I think for the Princeton, like the 65 in particular, it takes a little bit of that glassiness away. Yeah, yeah I can get that. that I like. But that, and I don't like glassy all the time, and there's something about the 65 Princeton that is just glassy that I like. Um, and it's great reverb. Mm. Anyway, sorry. So, when you thought you were confined to just guitars, nope. It's the world of amplifiers. Pedals do it too. But oh yeah, maybe special runs, special colors all the time. Amps are way more fun. Who needs pedals when you can buy lots of amps? I just keep thinking that like if I had one of those denim covered Fender amps, and then I wore like the whole denim Canadian tuxedo. Yeah, how cool would that be? If you had the like the. If you have like a like a felt colored hat, say, like cowboy nice, hat too. I have a denim hat. I have a denim cowboy hat. I used to wear. Mine's not a cowboy hat. It's just a hat. But still, well, I'm a real space ranger. Man, <laughs> I used to wear a denim cowboy hat with glasses and like a, a sort of pink boa in my New York days. There you go. I would have punched myself if I met myself today, probably. Like, hey, stop being such an idiot. But that's we're all that way when we're young. We probably all need that when we're young. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Know, I feel like you were like you came out of the womb with a beard. No. Well, hey, mama. It's true. Does the hog need gut now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Yeah. No, so um, yeah, so that's where we're at. So thanks for sticking around and joining us. I hope you enjoy this beautiful world of amplifiers and have fun with it. Wherever you may find them, if you already have them, congratulations. And just enjoy the journey. Way to go, you won. You're a winner. <laughs> Whew, they're expensive. But on um, this it is kind of weird. I feel like because I have a two rock. I, I never thought I'd have an amp like that in my life. I do feel like a winner. I, almost every piece of gear I own, I feel that way about right now. I remember like lusting over, I mean, like, you know, just anything that said Fender on it or Gibson. Anything. Yeah, me too. And the fact that we can play these fine instruments almost every day, just come back in the studios. Very fortunate. I don't know where we are. I like it though. It's good. So thanks again. We'll see you guys soon. See you next time.